Let me show you how to set up key zones, turning one keyboard into multiple keyboards. Here is a rather small keyboard, plugged directly in, it's a 32 key. Quite naturally, it's more logical to do this with a much bigger keyboard, such as this. Or this, splitting it up into smaller keyboards to play different instruments with a single keyboard. This is called key zoning. Let me show you how it works. Quite naturally, we use audio bus and we go to MIDI, choose an input, in this case, the control M32, and do this again for the second instance. Then for each of these, choose the splitter MIDI flow device. Give it a second to load. And again, MIDI flow splitter. So creating two keyboards from one keyboard. Let's hop into splitter and then choose a middle note, say this guy, the G right in the middle of my keyboard here. Press it, look on the keyboard there and move the split position. Something like that. So this upwards plays one instance and this downwards plays the other instance. You can see with the visual feedback there. So I play different notes, different notes falling into different zones. And of course you can do this as many times as you need with three or four different instances, if you have a big keyboard, for example. So let's hop back into audio bus and choose a different instrument for each of the different sides. Order units and one of my favorites, noise melody. With a different instance of noise melody for the other side. I shall randomly choose something. Tech interval pluck, why not? and a piano for the other side. Who knows how this will sound? Look at where I play on the keyboard here. Splitting the keyboard into two instruments. And to take it to the next level, we could combine it with Scalar, having multiple MIDI effects in the same instrument. So you can stat things and do almost anything, but more about the Scalar effect in the next video. Thanks for watching.